Hello everyone, it's George Castro giving you a quick tour here of Atoms. It's a new app from the developers of Bottles uh, that is a way to easily manage your Linux cheroots and containers. Um, so this just hit 1.0 and is on Flathub. So uh, this is what it looks like right here. I have my existing um, distro boxes here, but let's just go over how you'd use it. So uh, you click this plus here and then Let's say we need a, a Chirrut here. Let's call it Debian, maybe. Um, uh, there we go. And then we would pick Bullseye. And let's just call it Debian Test. And I hit Create. It goes and it downloads the image for that distro that you select from the drop down and creates a little change route there um, that you can use. So. Uh, that is useful uh, if you use that. Let's just give it a second here to finish. So it's done. And you can see here, it puts the logo and uh, all the details, binding stuff you can do. But here's what I like, a console. So um, you are in your uh, Debian uh, change route there. And there's a separate button here. I really like this one that just lets you detach the console. That's really handy. Um, so that's uh, one way that you could use um, Atoms. Now I'm going to go into the way I use it, which is uh, to go into my Podman containers via DistroBox. So um, if you go into your preferences, you'll see an integration and then a checkbox that says um, turn on DistroBox support. Now, assuming you have all that set up, uh, there's one thing that you need to do is go into flat seal and then find atoms. And here under talks, you just need to put org.freedesktop.flatpak. And that's what lets um, atoms do its thing. Um, so this, we're gonna do the same thing again, except this time instead of a changer, we're gonna use a distro box container and we're just gonna call uh, an Ubuntu container here. Same thing, except we're using distro box. Uh, instead of a cheroot, and this is actually inside of a Podman container. Sorry, we're going a little deep here like that movie. Um, so uh, we wait for this to get created, and then it has a bunch here for us. Um, of course, I'm doing a video, so now's, now's the day it chooses to be slow. Let me just go in, in into my, uh, an existing one here. Um, but it will create the container for you. And, you know, DistroBox does this uh, thing the first run. After that, uh, the things are instant. So what's nice about this is, again, I really like that you can split terminals here. And then if you have a look at my dashboard here, I've got all the different DistroBoxes that I'm using for stuff. Like this one, it works. When I, you know, when I used to build the docs, I have a DistroBox just for that. You know, then I have my uh, Ubuntu 20 for 2004, my 2204 boxes, et cetera. Um, and uh, it will obviously support any distro that uh, DistroBox supports. And um, uh, the one thing to check is just to make sure that your Podman slash DistroBox, that entire stack or whatever is working uh, before you install this and then do the flat seal permission. Um, but yeah, it's pretty great. I love that um, people are thinking about how to make terminals and containers more transparent to us, you know, and... Um, it takes a bunch of different ideas and iterations to figure out what the new world looks like, right? So uh, tools like this are really exciting to me because we try to abstract all the stuff that maybe we don't want to do because it's just like busy work, right? But surface the power that using all of these um, different isolated containers uh, could do for us from a development perspective. So check it out. Atoms, you will find it on uh, Flathub, which is at flathub.org. And then you can type atoms and then click, click the thing or look in your GNOME software or your KDE Discover. Have a great day.